afternoon. Welcome to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fawns. And I'm Brittany Flowers. It is a packed show. It is a packed stage. It is. We even have one of the band's pieces of equipment behind us. We don't, we're not really sure what this is, but we like it. We won't steal it because no, we're good people. But it's definitely but we cool. thought about it. I think it needs to go right here. I completely agree. All right. Well, we apologize to our crew because it is going to be a busy, busy show. So hopefully you can join us. Yes. First things first, let's talk a little bit about the food that we have here. I don't know how you ended up with the McFlurry and the fries, and I ended up with the salad. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, sometimes it's okay. you just got to be quick. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two fries, <laughs> Eminem and McFlurry, and this is delicious. So this is their peach sweet tea, and it really is mm. so good. Yesterday mm. we had marinated grilled peaches, Ted Polfelt from 419 yes. West, and today we have this peach tea, and I am totally into peaches now. I absolutely love it. I agree with you. But the reason why we're talking about all this wonderful food is the 10 Cares McDonald's Back to School Supplies Drive is in full swing, and we need your help. It's very simple. You head to one of 55 participating McDonald's locations across Southwest Virginia. Bring some school supplies with you and put it in a box that looks like this. We have a picture of it, I believe. Oh, no, we don't. Yes, it has this logo on it. It has this logo on it. Okay. So the great part is the school supplies that get donated stay in the community that it's donated mm -hmm. in. So we'll be out at participating McDonald's stores. I will be out. There it is. There's the box. Yes. I'm going to be in Rocky Mount with my Aww. family, actually, this afternoon. So please come by, say hi, get some McDonald's food, and bring your school supplies. They're we don't want the box to look like... We want there to be stuff in the box. Right. Definitely. Right. Exactly. Right now it's empty. We want them filled. Looking for an assortment of school supplies when you're out shopping for the new school year with your kids. Grab an extra couple of things, throw it in the McDonald's box. Mm -hmm. Glue sticks, pencils, pens, yeah. notebooks, all Whatever's sorts of Whatever's on the list, just get a couple of them. Yes, and we appreciate you helping out. Yes. So, like we said, we have a band today. Yes, we do. Today's a big day. Floyd Fest, one of the region's largest music festivals, featuring around 60 different acts, kicks off today. The theme of Floyd Fest 16 is Dream Weaving. Now, new this year is a participation row where 10 nonprofits will set up, allow festival goers a chance to learn about the groups and easy ways they can support them. Now, there are also workshops on anything from yoga and healing arts to hula hooping and storytelling. More than 10,000 people are expected to attend and stick around later because in our show, one of the bands you'll see at Floyd Fest will perform on the daytime stage. The Devil Nellies are here. They're a funk band with a great sound. One radio station described them as, quote, the Devil Nellies put on fun funk jam like no other. That's right. And get this, in our hands, we have great giveaway, one lucky viewer. Dun, we dun, have dun. two general admission tickets and one general admission tint tag to Floyd Fest 16, and these could be yours. So if you guys want to head to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash daytime blue ridge, type in Floyd Fest, and we'll give them away at the end of this show. So that's right, you only have 30 minutes to do this. Yes, very quick um, giveaway. It, it has been, uh, it, it's it's going to be huge. I think that, like, just listening to the bands, I'm like, man, it just gives you, like, this, you're just so great happy. Great lineup. Yeah. Five full days. So we have these tickets here. You have to do it by the end of the show. Mm -hmm. We're going to announce at the end of the show. So if you want these tickets, go on our Facebook. All right. I have a great show. I have a great story for you, okay? So it's been a dream come true for a Pulaski County boy as he finally gets a four-legged friend. Oh. Check this out. So people from all over the country pitched in to help eight-year-old Ryan Mann adopt a dog from the County Humane Society. Ryan's mom told him before he could adopt that he needed to volunteer at the shelter to see how much work a pet can be, which is a great, great idea. Mm -hmm. The adoption fee for his favorite shelter dog, Radar, was $100, so Ryan opened up a lemonade stand to raise money, and he posted it on Facebook. Well, his post went viral, and he quickly got the money that he needed, and he donated the extra cash to the shelter to help other people who need money to adopt a pet. You know, I want to say great? shout out to the mom for doing that. Yes. Because yes. there's, you know, we don't have a pet, and one of the reasons is because so much goes into it, and, you know, kids work. always want it. So I feel like that's a great way to teach your kids, hey, this is what goes into it. If you still want it after that, then, then you gotta you got to work for it. Right. That's the great thing is the parents, one, is teaching them the responsibility behind it, and two, they're teaching them you don't just get things. You like You don't actually get have to things. work for things. Exactly, what which is parent. such a hard thing to do as a parent. Yes. Because I know, you know, my little girls, they ask for 
ask for stuff and I yeah. want to give them stuff, but man, you gotta you gotta set the parameters. Yes. All right. Well, while the presidential campaign is certainly heating up, you may not be aware of another election that was going on this summer. That to select the next flavor of M&M's. Yes. That's right. Several M&M's brand chocolate peanut varieties, chili nut, honey nut, and coffee nut went head to head Ooh. in a consumer promotion to determine America's favorite peanut. And the winner, Brittany, I know you're going to like this one, the coffee nut. Coffee Doesn't nuts. that sound great? Yes. The coffee flavored morsels will hit shelves nationwide in August. After being dubbed America's favorite, very peanut. cool mm -hmm. coffee nut. So you look know, for people those. People love the mix of chocolate and coffee. They go together for sure.